you know what time it is. It is time to get to bassing. Well, today uh, we got another description of the uh, mystery tackle box. Let me grab this for you real quick, right? We have another description of the mystery tackle box. I know on the first go around that, you know, I didn't do too well. I lost a jig and it was just an all around bad experience for my first attempt at the mystery tackle box. So with this next box in, we're gonna give it another shot. Now it is hot as straight up balls outside right now. And um, not only with that, I have a short window to try to get this completed in because I gotta get on the grill today, you know, and do the grill thing. But with that being said, we're not gonna really talk too much about it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and comment on anything else you would like to see. Let's take a look at what's inside, get them tied on, let's get started. So one thing that you guys will notice is that, well, let me put on my hat, that uh, organization skills has gotten a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I know. Your boy is kind of trying to get it right and do it big in there. But let's open up this box and see what's inside. Considering the fact I'm using my trunk here for some shade, good gracious. So, we got some Pierpoint EWG standard guide. These some funky looking hooks. So, you know, we're gonna try these out and see what they do. Probably put these on, I don't know. Don't know yet. But we have a flutter spoon, which this is gonna, probably gonna be the hardest thing to catch this time of year is a flutter spoon. I do, but we'll give it a try. Next, we have a sergeant, I guess this is a sergeant, half ounce lipless crank. <laughs> My Guggen boys, you know what I'm saying? Flat banger, you know. This right here might be this, that's probably going to be this, and that crank bait probably going to be the sauce about it. We have some little paddle tail swim baits from Wesson. Yeah, from Wilson. Uh, three went three inch. Um, luckily, I brought my uh, drop shot rod that might work for a drop shot. And then we have some 13 fishing bubble butt. So these are more or less, you know what I'm saying, a uh, shaky head worm, more or less. That's what these are. And of course, you have your guides and your sticker. <laughs> you know what I'm going I might take start taking these stickers and putting them on my new little tackle storage thing in the truck you know what I'm saying just to collect on some of them you know this one says what go <laughs> I like that but let's get some of these tied on and let's get to fishing now as always <laughs> everything you see I'm giving that whole box away all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel Click that like button and leave a comment on something else that you would love to see me do or that you would like to know or learn. But we're gonna get out here. We about to get it popping and we about to get it fishing. Gotta get this overcast. Need to come in though. We got bluebird skies out here and bluebird skies makes fishing very difficult. Let's try the smaller pond. I don't think the last time I did, I caught not one fish. Not one, I don't think anyway. Before I, I'm already down here. I'm already down here. Let's, let's cast and do it. Let's cast and do it. Gotcha. your water come up <laughs> before I talk landing yes <laughs> well already I'm doing better than the last time because the last time I didn't catch anything <laughs> yeah all right fella let me get this out of you I might have to go get the, the pliers to get you out yeah let me go get the pliers there First one, thank you. 
That's one bait down. Few more to go. I'm not counting the hooks. I could put the bubble butt on the hooks. I could, but I'm not gonna use those hooks. That's one caught on the lipless, which surprised the crap out of me that I actually caught that on that lipless. Oh no, this is gonna be a tough way to go. I might need to go up by the dam with this because I'm catching serious grass. And there's something that catches me on the on the initial fall, we might have some issues. Got you. <laughs> I caught it too. There's something catching me on the initial fall. Oh no! Oh my gosh. Ah. He hit it on the initial fall. That was my chance. But he just didn't have the hook. And I caught it. I'm, do, I'm getting real good about calling stuff like that. <laughs> and the fish just jumped up right where I threw this at. Guess I got to fight with this lipless crank for a little while longer. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now I just gotta get you in. Gotta get you in. Motorboat him in. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I thought this lip was gonna be a hard one to do. I just really did. But thank goodness for little guys like you that's gonna allow. <laughs> thank goodness. Yeah. You got something going on with your fin, though. Good gracious. Well, that's two down. Two down, two to go. And one of them is pretty much a uh, shaky head, and the other one's a drop shot. Now, I may make some modifications to the little swim bait to put on the drop shot. I might make a, a few modifications for that. So, you know, I don't know if that counts as a, as a slam, but I'm going to do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the paddle off of the uh, off of the bait. I'm going to cut the paddle off. Then I'm going to nose hook it onto a drop shot and see how well that works. Hopefully it works pretty well. We're going to see, you know, how it does. But let's get the, uh, the shaky head and we're going to get the pitching with that one and then if we can get the oh i forgot about the spoon Ooh. okay um we get the sh uh, shaky head and pitch with that and then we'll move over to the drop shot of those swim baits all right let's got it let's get it The one thing that I did do with this bubble butt is I dipped it in a little bit of a chartreuse, you know, one modification that I did. You know what I'm saying? The water's a little stained and it's green pumpkin, you know? It's like a green pumpkin color. So it makes it more easier for the fish to see it. You get, you get, you get what I'm saying? So I don't consider that, you know what I'm saying, a cheat. You know what I'm saying? But it's a modification because the water's so stained. But we're gonna get over here in the shallows and pitch around and see what we can get. All righty, let's go with it. Mm. Gotcha, already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they wanted that bubble butt. Mm. He wanted that. Well, I be doggone. He has a he has a lure in his mouth. Look at that. What kind of lure? I don't know. Unless that ain't a lure. Let's see. Yeah, that is a lure. That's a little slim shape. Come on, fella. You made it that far. Push it on all the way. Whoa, who? Is that a snake? No. That's no snake. I'm gonna use the butt to uh, push him on out. There you go. Oh no. You came back up at me. 
I guess you want to be seen by the camera. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. I guess you want to be seen by the camera. Look at that. Off of the bubble butt. And he had an old slim shape in his mouth. That is three down. We got to do this uh, drop shot. But that's three down, which is going pretty good right now. I know what's going to be the hard one. It's going to be the doggone flutter spoon. That is a bait that should be for the fall. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, you can use it in the spring, but this is not as effective as in the fall because, yes, you know, bass are schooling up. You know what I'm saying? Bait fish, you know what I'm saying? The feed back up. A Florida spoon? Good gracious. All right, uh, Carl, y'all are y'all are making it hard on your boy right now. I can see. That's all right. Adapt and overcome. Adapt and overcome. So I might not need to trim the tail. I might not need to trim the tail because, you know, good consistency. I might not need to trim the tail. Let's just, let's try it without it first, without trimming the tail. Now, my only fear with this is the color of the bait. Um, the water is a little bit more stained and darker. So, I do not know how well that's going to work. This might not be a bad idea how I did this. Considering the fact I still got a good swimming action on it. Yeah, it got a pretty good little uh, shimmer in the swimming action. So, let's see if we can make heads or tails of this. Yeah, <laughs> it does work. It did work. Well, yeah, it did work. Worked pretty daggone well. Be still, dude, so I can get you loose. Ouch, daggum it. Fend me. I'm just glad you didn't have no daggum troubles in you when that happened. Yeah, that little guy right there, you know. Whew, last but not least, we have the flutter spoon which I am not too happy about that. And I don't really even have, you know, um, swivels to really put that on. Considering the fact that, considering the fact that, you know what I'm saying, a flutter spoon will twist your lineup badly. I don't have no barrel swivels to protect my rod and line. Good gracious, come on, come on. Don't make me. I knew the floater spoon was going to be a hard one. I pretty much figured I wasn't going to catch nothing on that floater spoon anyway. You know, Mr. Tackle Box, y'all, y'all slipped me a Mickey on this one. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's been a good while, you know what I'm saying? I've been left the pond for a good minute. Been out here grilling. Don't mind the trash bag on the arm there, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's my ghetto rig, you know, you know, keeping rain off and, you know what I'm saying, kind of a sterilized, you know what I'm saying? Clean trash bag. But in any case, I'm done cooking, actually, um, also. Did a couple of steaks and whatnot, but back to the subject at hand. Yeah, I'ma count that as a win. I mean, spoon ain't really supposed to be used during the summer months, you know what I'm saying? And that don't really count. I mean, come on, Shop Carl's. Come on with it. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you gotta do me like that. But if you enjoyed the uh, video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and comment on anything else you would like to see. It's a hot one, I just got off the grill. I just caught some fish. Now I'm about to go in the AC and chill until this evening because I'm supposed to be going to go do it again. You know what I'm saying, fish at a different pond. But with that being said, you know what I'm saying, get out here and enjoy the day that the Lord made when it cools off. Drink water and we're here to get you right so you can keep them lines tight. We'll get at you.